And we're back to HTML Canvas. Let me show you how we can drag elements around on our canvas, which is certainly going to help us. With future game developments, we have the circle, the draw circle function, and we've drawn the circle initially. Our canvas, we've got that as well, obviously. So this is all stuff that I've covered in earlier tutorials. We'll create a flag because we want to check if our circle is already being dragged or not. By default, we'll set it to false. This is our starting point. And then we'll have to create a couple of event listeners. But first, I'll just declare two variables for x and y offset. We will need that later on in our event listeners. As I said, we can keep the draw circle function right here and the initial draw. And now we'll create our listeners right here. First up the mouse down. In principle, we need three mouse down, mouse move and mouse up. They always have the same structure. What we need for mouse down is our X and Y position. X is left, Y is top. That's the way the canvas is organized in these two dimensions. And we want to check if our mouse is inside of the circle. If we just left click anywhere on the canvas, it shouldn't work. It should only work when we are inside of our circle. And for that, we use the same principle that I've used in the last video and in our little game. So it's a square plus b square equals c square. If you don't get this here, I've explained it in detail in my game tutorials in my HTML canvas playlist. So check that out. I've created a couple of tutorials where we designed and coded a game. It's just a simple game. But when you search for it, where I've added the collision, this is where I've explained this principle a little bit in detail. Check that out. Here we want to move on. If the distance is smaller than our circle radius, we know that our mouse down is happening inside of the circle. And then we want to set is dragging to true and adjust our offsets. So wherever we drag this with our mouse is now the new X and Y position. And we'll subtract that from our circle X and Y positions.
Now we use the mouse move event listener. Again, same structure. Let me copy this right here. Once more X and Y position and here we only use is dragging as our condition. So if drag is dragging is by default false, but if we click on the circle while we're in the circle, it's true. And now our mouse move can actually adjust the position right here via offset. And then we'll have to redraw the canvas. To do that, we'll first clear it, otherwise these new dragged circles would be placed on top of one another. So we need the clear act method, then we call the draw circle function. Finally the mouse up, and this is an easier one. We don't have an event here. We'll just use mouse up and then set is dragging to false. So if we release our mouse click, it's false. Now comes the tedious part, I have to check for typos, and I actually made one. It's not a surprise, I like to do typos, sorry about that. It's obviously client with a lowercase c in our mouse down, and in the mouse move event listener, we'll have to adjust that. But then it should run. Let us go over it again. So we have our canvas, our circle object, then we've created a flag, is dragging, set it to false. We've declared the offsets, we have two dimensions, so we need x and y. Function for draw the circle, we've had that in earlier tutorials and initial draw. Here's our mouse down event listener. If we click, we want to have something happening, so you could see this as the event. Here's our client, as I've said, make it a lower case c. We've checked if we are actually clicking when we are on top of the circle, and we've used a square plus b square equals c square for that. We stored that in distance, and if the distance is smaller than our circle radius, we know that we have clicked inside of the circle. Therefore, we set is dragging to true, and we'll calculate the offset so we don't have to click on the center of the circle. Via offset, we know that we may be, let's say, five pixels to the right and five pixels down from the center. This is stored here and then we can use that and then we can use that later on in our mouse move event listener.
Yet again, here event.client should be lowercase. This was my typo. You should fix that in your code if you have recoded it in real time. Then we want to update the position based on the mouse drag. Here we use our offset and add it to mouse X and Y. And this is the new value for our circle X and Y position. To be able to see all that, we need to redraw the canvas. First up, we clear it. The entire canvas is cleared via 0, zero position, canvas width, canvas height. And then we draw the circle again. Finally, we have a mouse up event listener. Or when we lift our left click, you could say then dragging or is dragging is set to false. As I said, we need that for game development in the future, so make sure you've understood it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.